Love them not channel LTK here. Yeah. Going Ganzo. Or should I say Firebird? Firebird. Little and blue. Is it a flipper? No, it's not a frame lock. Oh my god. One of the viewers the other day was like, we have to just why don't you just call your channel Love Them Titanium Frame Lock Flippers? And you know what? It can get old. I understand. A lot of knives out there in titanium, a lot of knives out there that are flippers, but this is not one of them. This is the Firebird. See the Firebird on there? It says Firebird. And yes, this is not one of the high-end uh, Damasteel Mokutai models. <laughs> Just kidding. Budget. F759M. But even though this is one of the most affordable, should we put it that way? Cheapest, most affordable, budget-friendly knives in the Ganzo Firebird lineup. It still has 440C steel. What sayest thou? Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. <clears throat> Got a huge thumb hole for opening. Does it have jimping? I would say so. All along here. And all up this thumb ramp. Or you don't have to call it a thumb ramp. And what do they have? Uh, they have the non-boye boye dent for uh, disengaging the, the lock bar. Wow. I don't know. If you took this out of here, what would this, what brand would you think this knife was? Three guesses and the first two don't count. Spider gum. Okay, so yes. It looks a lot like another brand of knife. But you know what? I don't think you'll get it confused. Especially with the box. And what's the model number? F759M-BL. So, there's a lot of BS in this BL. But you know what? It's blue. And I like blue. And I like beater knives. Because beater knives do all the work around my house. My expensive knives do not. They are lazy and they sit on the sideline. But my beater knives are doing all the lifting around my place. And why not? 440C is definitely for me. Especially when it's almost free. Look at that. That's a good sharp little knife. And you know what? I, I, I got to laugh because I got a buddy that <clears throat> took his stupid paramilitary two knife out and broke the tip off digging a CD out of his CD player in his truck. And it's like, dude, get you a Ganzo. <laughs> it's got the same shape blade. And if you break this off, you will not lose. Uh, it was a sprint run. Para two. Okay. You will not lose $160. You will lose $10.15. <laughs> that will be it. And you won't even lose that. It's a beater knife. Who cares if it's got a tip on it? You can just keep on going, right? God only knows the tip probably wouldn't have broke on this one. That would be the ultimate in tragedy, wouldn't it? It's like, oh my God, really? My $160 pair of two <laughs> falls apart quicker than my $10 Ganzo. Oh my God, that would be the ultimate punishment from the gods. And this gets five stars. You know why? Because they like this. And yeah, um, you know, this is the kind of thing you do. And you get this when you go, you know, yeah, honey, if you're going to cut down a bunch of cardboard boxes, let me give you a knife to do that with. And it won't, see, this will be the knife. This will be it. You can sharpen this one right up. Not a problem. See? See? Little place here, put your finger. See, you know, chimping up here, go up forward. Big thumb hole, open and close. Easy for people to understand how to disengage and, and lock it. I mean, unlock it. I'll tell you what, a lot of people mm -mm -mm, don't understand frame locks or liner locks. You know, when they're newbies, this knife, good gift. This would really be a good gift for people. I mean, 
basically almost use this as a keychain knife too. Pocket clip, it is definitely on there. Three screws, tip up, tip down, right and left. Anything you want. And it comes in different colors. How crazy is that? But I mean, does this look like the bird series? It does. I mean, if you want to go down, downgrade from Spyderco, you go bird. If you want to downgrade from bird, you go Ganzo. You want to downgrade from Ganzo, you go Ganzo, whatever this is, uh, 759. Ouch. So I got mine off of, like I said, Gearbest. And I'll give you the link to it so you can go on there and look at the different colors. You can kind of see them here in the background. I think orange and God only knows. Whatever. I got blue. I wasn't going to get one of every color, although probably wouldn't have been a bad idea just to have some, you know, some knives to give as gifts. Check this out in the middle here. See what we got up in here. Um, yeah. Got a little bit of a liner up in there, don't we? Um, skeletonized a little bit through there. How light do you need it? See in there? It's already light enough, folks. I'll guarantee you that is really light. But 2.3 ounces. I mean, you really can't lighten it up much from there. 66 grams, you know, just saying. Because you're getting close to zero. Easy to open. It's a lock bar here. It's solid, no play, sharp, good flat grind, really good for slicing and a lot of other chores. How delicate is the tip? Who cares, right? It's 10 bucks. Eh, it's not that delicate. It's not that bad. I don't know. You might have to work a little bit to break that off. Start using it as a pry bar and things that you're not supposed to do with a knife regardless. And you know it. Big knife? No. Tiny knife. Under three inch blade. Two and seven eighths though. That's, you know, hey. Done knives a lot smaller than that. So almost three inch almost three inch blade so not that small under seven inches but just barely under seven inches you're talking about 17 and a half centimeters and probably 75 millimeters a little over 75 millimeters right in there so if you compare it to another lightweight and these things are about the same weight believe it or not well this one's a little heavier not much um there you go. There's the Manix. Wow. Yeah. Even though the Manix is like not quite a full three and a half inch blade. And this one's not quite a full three inch, but it's really close. So somewhere in there. Much smaller knife. Like I was saying, Manix is this, this translucent one. Very light. 2.9. Okay. So, like I was saying, 2.4. Pretty close. Pretty close. This one's awful light for as big as it is. Just saying. But, you know, it's not like this is a 2-inch blade or a 2.4-inch blade. Like the pillar from CRKT. Still bigger knife. Bigger knife. F over 4 ounces. <laughs> oh my god 2.4 so yes big difference in weight and you know 10 bucks comes in colors makes great gifts and i like the ganzos i i'm 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 being a little flip and everything with this but you know seriously a uh, good solid knife although probably not the most uh impressively heavy uh Blade stock, but hey, it's a slicer. Yeah, point zero nine two inches, uh, two point three millimeter thick blade stock, and uh, well, 
10, over, a little over 10 millimeter thick, uh, so four tenths of an inch. That's pretty slender. Not much real estate taken up in the pocket. Pocket clip, yes, goes into the pocket. Over the pocket, pretty easy. It's fairly long. It's not a deep carry, but there's no real hot spots. Feels comfortable in the hand, and you can go forward here. So whether you want to do this, or lay back like this, or reverse grip like this, in any case, it feels comfortable. Very light. Yeah, I like it. Easy to disengage, not difficult. Easy to open up. Cool little knife. What do you think? You like the Ganzo? It's not a G759. Just remember that. It's an F759. So when you go on your best and you look, just remember F759M. Yeah. You know, it's hard not to like these knives. I just keep going around and around. I've been doing this stuff for over a year now with the Gansos. And they have come a long way. Can't help but like them. Got to smile when you have one in your hand. And you never uh, get your feelings hurt if something happens because they don't cost squat. So, and you know what? They'll probably outlast some of your more expensive knives. And that it, that's just not fair. But it's just the way the world works. For some reason, it's always the beater knife that's still there and still looking good. <laughs> that just kills me. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for hanging in with me. You know what we do around here. Yes, we love them knives, so stay sharp.